Once you have installed a custom recovery on your HTC 10, you can then create what is referred to as a Nandroid backup. This is a backup of the entire NAND storage. And it is essentially a full snapshot of, I'd say, every partition on your phone. But it really just depends on which ones you select during the backup process. So again, you will need to have the bootloader of the HTC 10 unlocked. You will need to have a custom recovery like Twerp installed. And if you don't have either of those yet, then be sure to check the description below this video. And it will have a link to the full tutorial for those. So to start, we need to boot the HTC 10 into recovery mode. Again, if you're unfamiliar how to do that, check the full tutorial. I'm going to use an application called Simple Reboot now that I have rooted the HTC 10. And I'm just going to reboot to recovery. This app just gives me a way to reboot into recovery instead of having to hold the power and volume down buttons to boot into download mode and then boot over into fast boot mode and then boot over into recovery mode. You can also do that by typing in an ADB command but I just like to use that simple app. Alright, once we are at the twerp main menu we're going to tap on the backup option and then I'm going to suggest that you create a name for this and name it something that will that best describe your current setup so I'm going to name it stock dash root because I have I'm using the stock um, firmware and I have rooted the device and then I'm going to append the date onto it so I know when I created this backup I'm going to tap that check button so now we have the option of choosing which of these partitions we want to back up the system and system image are required and I'm just going to select the cache data boot and recovery partitions just so I can t create a complete backup these are not required though but the system and system image is required also if you have a micro SD card installed or you are you can you have attached a thumb drive via the OTG you also have the ability to change where you want this backup to be saved but since I don't have either of those connected right now I'm just gonna do it to the internal storage and you have the option to enable encryption I'm going to skip that right now normally I would but I'm just going to skip that by now and if you want you can even encrypt your backup. So once you have all of your parameters set you just need to swipe the white arrows to the right to start the backup process. And depending on how much data you're backing up this process can take a lot of time so you can just set the phone down and go do something else while while it makes the backup
And now that that's done, we have two options here at the bottom. We can either go back to the main menu or we can go to reboot the system. Unless you need to do anything else inside of Torp, just go ahead and tap on reboot system. And then it's going to take us through our normal boot sequence. We're going to see the typical boot animations. You're going to be asked to input your pin pattern or password if you have it set up that way. And then we're going to be right back into the Android operating system. And there you go. Now you have created your first Nandroid backup.